One of the topics we wanted to talk about today is something called artificial intelligence. In fact, there was a big movie, of course, AI, Steven Spielberg's last uh, effort. Uh, not a great hit. And I gather not something you're a big fan of. Well, I think artificial intelligence will be coming, but I think it's going to take 50, perhaps maybe 100 years before humans wind up in a zoo and our, our robot creations throw peanuts at us behind bars <laughs> and make us dance like we do as zoo animals. We had Ray Kurzweil on last week, and of course, I'm sure you are familiar with his book, The Age of Spiritual Machines, in which he claims it is not far off before computers are as smart, in fact, smarter than human beings. Why is that such a difficult thing for, for you to imagine happening so soon? Well, I'm a physicist, and we are the ones who have to build these things. <laughs> and we realize that in 20 years, something called Moore's Law is going to collapse. Moore's Law says that the doubling time for computer power is, is about 18 months. Mm -hmm. So if we take Moore's Law out to 50 years, yeah. which it, you can't do, right. but if you take it out to 50 years, we'll be computing at about 500 trillion bytes per second. That's the speed of human thought. Now again, we're talking about 50 years in the future, assuming that Moore's Law keeps on going, we will be able to approximate the speed of human thought. Right. But like I said before, that's a big if. We don't know whether co quantum computers can even exist at that speed. Well, and of course, you're talking about the building the machine that'll do this, and I've had big arguments with Ray Kurzweil, because I'm of the opinion that it's not mere speed that makes a human thought uh, what it is. It's a, it's a very difficult and ineffable thing that makes humans human. Do you think a machine can do it? Well, there are two basic problems with robots. Uh, first is vision, and the second is common sense. Right. Now, our most advanced computers and most advanced robots have the intelligence of a retarded cockroach. <laughs> a retarded cockroach. Not Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie Terminator, but a lobotomized, retarded cockroach is our most advanced computer. That's pathetic. 